Hello guys and welcome to Watching Time. Today we're going to discuss a Longines watch that I'm very fond about. It's not new, it's from uh, 2012 actually, because it commemorated, it was one of the watches to commemorate the 180 years of history of Longines. But at the same time, uh, this is a kind of old DNA watch. So it's a it's not new in 2020, uh, but definitely it's a watch that I'm very fond. It's it's new as you can see. It's perfectly in a state, but it reminds you of of 1942. And why 1942? Because actually this is called the Logins Heritage 1942 chronograph. And as I was saying, it, it was produced to commemorate 180 years of uh, Longines. Uh, so what 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 can we say about it? And I'm going to show you a little bit of details. So it presents itself in a 40 millimeters case. So it's it's a it's a watch that you can wear very well, uh, especially in in a wrist that is not too big or not too short. At the same time, it has the vintage look. So it's 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 a watch that fits uh, many occasions, uh, classic or or a more formal occasion, but it can also be uh, used in, I don't know, more informal matters. So it presents with a tachymetric uh, scale inside with a, a chronograph. The chronograph is a Longines L688.2 movement, and it offers uh, 30 meters water resistance and a power reserve that's around uh, 54 hours, uh, at least from what is declared. So uh, the chronograph uh, works very well. Uh, we showed you a little bit about it uh, in a while. As you see, it presents itself with a black dial. But what I love about it, when you see the design, uh, it's clear that it's 1940. And it's also clear that it has in its DNA the military watches that Longines produced during that time. Even if this type of watch is not intended to be used by the military, you can clearly see that the the kind of steps that are present in the vessel, the three layer kind of steps, the the shape. If you take the Arabic numbers, uh, no, actually you leave the Arabic numbers. If you take the, the chronograph instruments, the tachymeter, this is exactly the Longines uh, military, one of the dirty 12. Uh, you just add the arrow there and, and you have one of the dirty 12 in, in its DNA. So definitely this is a watch that when I saw and, uh, and I had the opportunity to buy, I just jumped for it. It's, it's, it's quite unique. At the same time, it's beautiful. It presents itself with an open back that shows you the movement. Uh, it's a beautiful movement. Uh, as you can see, uh, it's a chronograph. Uh, it has uh, long jeans, it has, it's decorated. It, it states that it's the Heritage 1942 and and you can see it works perfectly as a chrono. Uh, you know, this is the kind of watch that that uh, if you see it more than than what it was probably intended, uh, it is actually I could I could use this as a military watch. Uh, absolutely. Obviously, it presents itself in this case with an alligator, one hundred percent alligator strap. It's not the stamp, uh, and it actually said here. You see. Uh, upside alligator leather. Uh, the quality is excellent. Uh, as you can see, I have not worried very much. It's kind of new still, and I'm proud of that. Uh, I wear my watches with a lot of attention, not to damage them or not to get them old. Uh, and and it's, it's, it's a piece that I wanted to share with you. I think it's, it's an interesting uh, archive piece that just was a little bit forgotten from Longines. In 2020, today, now they are launching a new series of vintage watches, and they have actually come back with something that looks a lot to what was uh, one of the Dirty 12 uh, military watches. So I think this was the right moment to discuss about this uh, particular model and to show you this uh, military DNA that it actually has inside behind all the chronograph uh, fancy stuff around it. So uh, that's uh, pretty much for now, guys. I don't know if you have any questions or, or please drop them down. I'm more than happy to hear also your opinions, to, to share with them. Uh, you know I answer. I usually have the time to, to answer back. 
Uh, and also, if you like my channel, please click a like and please subscribe that it help us keep uh, coming on with reviews and, and maybe bring in some other interesting reviews in the future. So until next time, take a lot of care. Bye bye.